everybody. Time is 7.21. Okay, not the usual sunshine we maybe grew accustomed to over the last couple of days, but this is good. Little drink for the lawns and the flowers, right, Frank? No, you got it. I'm excited. I don't have to water my containers today. I That's it. 26 at home. Wow. Yeah. So you get you get a break. You all get a break, mm -hmm. and then the sunshine returns tomorrow. Originally, well, you had rain. Uh, no, tomorrow we're going to see cloud cover the weekend. The next real, real sunny scorcher of a day will be Sunday. Which is perfect. We'll see some sun on Friday, though, too. Yeah, and we showed some sunshine to you yesterday because yeah. uh, it really, truly does pay to watch the very end of the show. And right. I mean down to the last word. What am I talking about? Word. Well, Chris Reyes came up with a fantastic idea. Good to see you guys both here in the lobby, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice to escape once. my little pod. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he does exist outside the pod. So, Chris, what did you come up with for all the Twitter it's, heads? It, it's our first Twitter-only contest. So we announced the contest on Twitter. We didn't say anything on air, but we said you have to tune in to the last word and then tweet it to us, and then the winner gets this beautiful, be the model, Francis. It's gorgeous. Please. This beautiful, sleek flip HD Mino just came out, okay. worth more than 200 bucks. Cool. Beautiful video. So camera. the problem was they put the pressure on me, Chris. They came in here, it was Francis, Frank, and I ready yeah. to wrap the day, and I said, you know, I'm terrible with being concise and having the last word. I tend to ramble. Never. Right. No. So I said, can please let, let Francis or let Frank do it. So and we were, were like, debating. no, it's all you, D. It's all you. And Dina's like, well, what am I going to say? And we said, you know what? Just let it be natural. Just let it come. And, and, and I couldn't because I had the weight of the world on my shoulders. And these two looked like the cat that swallowed the canary. Roll tape. It was awkward. Roll tape. Just take a look. One of the grade eight dances, I wore the total Crockett and Tub look. It was like lime green. Do you have a photo oh, of this? I, I know, you gotta bring it in. Absolutely have to bring this in for, for proof. Lori tomorrow. definitely got rid of the jacket, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> I think this looks really good though. Yeah. 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 I'm having Pull some wardrobe envy. Well done, Francis. Great. Well, everybody, we wish you a very fantastic sunny day. We look forward to sharing the morning again with you tomorrow. Until now, I bid you adieu. First of all, I didn't even speak English. I said adieu. What was that? And, and then I said up until now instead of up until then or whatever. That didn't make sense either now that I heard that back. Because I was trying to say, what's my last word going to be? It's got to be clean. Well, and you can just see the, the tweeters going, is, is it, is it going to be a good day? Is it going to be? Sure yeah. enough, you got inundated with responses. Yeah, we got hundreds of tweets. Did they know how to spell it? They did, actually, but we got some strange ones. Someone thought that you said, I bid you a duel. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's fun yeah. too. And somebody said caramel, but I want to announce the winner. So Kayla Boyle, her tweet name is banana1313, wrote, last spoken word on Tuesday show was adieu, followed by a cough, covered up, laugh, by Frankie. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. That was very good listening on your part. So kind of an awkward moment. That's what we It was awkward. About. It was yeah. an awkward ending and they laughed at me hysterically for like 15 minutes to follow. And then Richard Madden comes up, our political reporter, and says, I would like to correct you, Dina. It's actually, adieu means to God. You should say a la prochaine or au revoir. And I said, hello, I just came back from Sound of Music. And they say, uh -huh. goodbye, farewell, adieu, adieu, adieu. Yeah. So I said, are you questioning the sound of music? <laughs> I'm just saying. And speaking of another awkward don't, moment. Don't we, don't we hate those people that come to you and say, oh, you know what? Like, leave it alone. Let I it be. I love Richard. I love Richard, Ooh. but I, you know, I, I just hate when people try to correct you. Uh, <laughs> but I'll go after Richard Madden any day. You know what was awkward with Richard? I could get Richard back right now. Yeah. He was at the party, uh, the, the summer garden party at the Prime Minister's house on the weekends. Yes. And he comes up to me as I'm sipping wine and says, um, so Dean, I heard the big news. I'm like, what big news? Am I fired? Uh. And he goes, Pregnancy. And I said, I'm drinking wine, Richard. It's my fourth glass. So anyway, he said, uh, he heard people were saying I announced it on BT, and of course it was the day that was misunderstood right. where I said, I am not expecting anything. And the worst thing that you could ever do is go up to a woman and say, hey, I hear you're pregnant. Yeah. And you look down and they're not. Which is what we have one viewer writes in, Kevin Waven says, one of my most uncomfortable moments was asking a woman when she was due and she wasn't at all pregnant. The rule is, unless the baby, like, is coming, she's in labor right then, do not comment on her being pregnant because it could just be water retention. Yeah. Just don't, don't ask. Or don't a crash. really good day at the Mandarin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so get this, dailypress.com yeah. gives a whole bunch of the most awkward moments we humans face on a daily basis. Being stuck in an elevator, absolutely. It never gets easier. Well, you're all stuck in the elevator and you're, you're riding and you're like, so do you come here often? No, what, what do, you do you say? say? Exactly. In fact, again, to bring it back to Ottawa, we were in a little boutique-style elevator, so it was teeny-tiny, 
And there was the, all of these really tall men around, musicians. So it was so awkward. We were in each other's like faces and armpits and everything. So I just go, wow, you guys are really tall. I thought I was tall. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you are. And that I was the end of it. I know how I feel every day. What do you do? Do you guys have a way to break the ice in the elevator that works? Or oh, those, uh, those people in the elevator that want to be heard and they, they want you to know what they're doing. Really? They want to be on the phone and they're talking out loud so you can hear. I've been in an elevator recently where there was somebody that obviously wanted me to know that he was cool. I'm surprised that it actually works. It didn't work. I thought, you know, oh, they I don't were care. having a fake conversation. I'm trying to listen right now to Bette Midler on the elevator music. Yeah, see, yeah. that's the thing. The wind beneath my wings. More later, guys, including, um, well, I'll tell you something that actually will be good for you okay. that's happened, okay. that I've noticed. You'll have to stay tuned at an awkward moment that we experienced recently. That's to come. We'll have much more right here on BT that's after this. Awkward. I know, it's, yeah. it's an awkward way to end it, isn't it? I want to get a lot of